Hi, my name is Titus Welter and this is Kyle Sivershee. We're going to be presenting on Chapter 14 of the Macroecon book, and more particularly, stocks. Uh, we will represent two situations today, one with a diversified portfolio, and the other one that represents a situation where only one stock is selected and the collective risk associated with these and the potential risk versus reward situation. My name is Ty Spelter. Uh, I'm looking to buy like, a mutual fund. Uh, I just want like top 500 kind of deal. I just want a low risk, uh, small return, like 5% a year. I just want to slowly increase my wealth with limiting like any chance of losing a lot of money. I think we can do that for you. Uh, first, we'd like to welcome you to Kyle's Investment Capital. Um, I think what you're looking for is an index fund where you're not trying to necessarily beat the market, but you're just trying to mimic its line, to mimic the returns of the market so that your risk will be minimal. I'm going to walk you over to this graph here, Mr. Welter, where we present to you what we would call the standard deviation of portfolio return, or the risk associated with this. Um, see, as you can see from this graph here, the more stocks you own, the more you're able to reduce firm-specific firm risk, where the less stocks you actually own, the more risky your portfolio will be and you'll have a chance for a greater return, but also a lower, for a negative return on investment. Um, but by pursuing this strategy, you eliminate all firm-specific risk, but a little bit of market risk will still remain. But with the way the stock market has been trending in the recent past, um, you should be fine. Here's your mail, sir. Yo, 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 what's up, my man? My name is Christian Reed. I'm looking to buy some stocks. Uh, I'm going to buy some stocks from United Airlines. I really like what they've been doing lately. I like their PR. I think I, I think I can make a lot of money off them. So uh, let's talk some business. All right, well, Mr. Reed, I'm not sure whether that's the best strategy for you to pursue. Um, only buying one firm will leave you with a lot of firm specific risk. So if United Airlines doesn't perform very well this year, you will see a huge loss on your investment. Um, with diversification, which is what I would recommend, you will own a lot of stocks and um, bonds in unrelated areas so that it won't just depend on one different firm. It will kind of mimic the whole economy and your return will be very steady. So that's what I would I recommend. I don't know. I'm just really passionate about United Airlines. I think they're going to do great. I think they're going to take off, literally and metaphorically, even the stock market. I think they're just really going to make me a lot of bank. Yeah. But if you're thinking that United Airlines is undervalued right now, what I believe in, the efficient market hypothesis that all currently held information about the company is reflective in the market price, is that the stock can't be undervalued. So that you're not getting a good deal on United Airlines necessarily. I hear what you're saying, man, but I just gotta go United. I, I really believe in them and I'm trying to get a yacht in the Bahamas and just make a whole lot of money. So I'm gonna stick to my guns and go with them, but I appreciate the help. Thanks again, Mr. Reed. Here's your mail, sir. Are you kidding me?